The majority of us don't wake up in the morning, throw off our covers and go, I just can't wait to clean today and get right to work. Most of us wake up and throughout our morning routine, we see little things that we need to do and tasks we need to take care of and remind ourselves we gotta do it later. And then when we finally have time to work on it, we tend to default to, I don't really want to do that. I know on days, particularly when our kids have been home all day, by the time nap time rolls around, my house can look like a tiny tornado went through it, which technically tiny tornadoes did go through it. And when I finally get them both to sleep, the last thing I want to do is use my precious quiet time to clean up. But as you guys have heard me preach about a million times, it is always better to do little things throughout the day as opposed to letting things build up into a big giant task. So today I'm going to give you my three best tips to get instant cleaning motivation so you can get those tasks tackled. Okay, so step number one is you need to reason with yourself. Most of us, when we are faced with a task that we need to complete that's like boring or like we don't really want to do, you know, typically cleaning tasks, we tend to default to no, right? Your brain will sort of be like, I don't really want to do that. But a very cool thing is you actually have control over the thoughts in your brain. Our thoughts are very, very powerful, but I think some of us don't always give ourselves enough credit because we're the ones who put the thoughts in there, which means we have some control and some sway over the thoughts that are up there. Your brain actually has two different modes. It has something called a direct mode and a default mode. Now your default mode is essentially for all of the things that happen on autopilot, to inhale, to blink, to lift our coffee cup up to drink. Your default mode is there because you need it. You can't be actively thinking about these things. But something really interesting is your thoughts can actually end up in default mode as well. They can end up on autopilot. If you think the same thoughts over and over and over again, it tells your body essentially to put this on autopilot. So your brain will autopilot to that thought process. So this means sometimes you need to change your thinking from default to direct. Now direct mode are things that you do consciously, that you are making active choices or actions about. So while your brain may default to no when they see a cleaning task that they don't want to do, you need to change it. You need to make that shift in your thinking in order to change it from the no to something else. In the book, The Antidote Happiness for People Who Can't Stand Positive Thinking, Oliver Berkman points out that we tend to phrase things in a limiting way. We'll say, I just can't clean right now, or maybe we'll make an excuse like, I'm too tired to do that. But deep down, what we really more often mean is I don't feel like doing these things. So you need to make an active effort to change your thinking about it. And the way that really works for me that I've shared in the past is to remind myself I'm never gonna feel like it. The phrase I'm never gonna feel like it has really changed my life when it comes to developing positive habits. Often when we want to adopt a new habit, we have to adopt some tasks or routines that we like don't necessarily default to. Um, and so they're not gonna feel natural to us and they're not something we wanna do. Say for example, you wanna wake up earlier in the morning. When your alarm goes off, you're not gonna wanna wake up, right? Say you wanna start working out. When you get out of work, you probably just wanna go home. You're not gonna wanna go to the gym. So I kind of shift my thinking because I can't sit around and wait until I feel like doing something because I'm never gonna feel like it. I will face one of these tasks and an easy way that I shift my thinking is they say, Callie, you're never gonna feel like it. Your brain has defaulted to nope, and it's gonna default to nope in 20 minutes and in an hour, and then tomorrow it's gonna default to that. You're never gonna feel like it, so you need to do it right now. We can't just sit around and wait for motivation or divine intervention to strike because it's never going to. There is a really famous artist named Chuck Close, and he says that inspiration is for amateurs. The rest of us just show up and get to work, and that's essentially what you need to do. Remember that you are in control. Instead of focusing on the mess or the amount of work you need to do, focus on the fact that you're in control of the situation, and you are the one who can make it better. If you're overwhelmed and you don't know where to start, start small with a single area or room. That momentum will get you going, which brings me to the next step. Quick break to tell you about the sponsor for today's video, which is Cook Unity. They are the first ever chef to consumer platform. Essentially, they work with a bunch of really talented chefs who create really delicious, really innovative meals that they cook for you in microchip kitchens, not in some big, huge warehouse. And those are delivered directly to your doorstop, doorstop, doorstep, 
Is it a doorstop? No, it's a doorstep. They arrive fully cooked, so all you gotta do is warm them up. Let me tell you the four things that I love most about Cook Unity. One, the meals are delicious. Hands down, the best pre-cooked meals I have ever had. This isn't some frozen entree, it is restaurant quality. The recipes are unique and innovative and cover all cuisine types and dietary needs. For example, here you see a mac and cheese that I got, but it's not just mac and cheese. No, no, no. It is mac and cheese with pancetta, peas, pearled onions, and gorgonzola, created by Chef Chris Rattel out of Brooklyn. Number two, the subscription is super uh, flexible. It is a weekly subscription, but you can pause, skip weeks, or cancel at any time. Number three, it is so stinking easy, okay? No chopping, no prepping, no mixing. They arrive fully cooked and all you have to do is pop them into the oven for like 10 to 30 minutes and you are ready to go with a chef created meal. And four, I think that Cook Unity makes an amazing gift. It's like one thing that I'm always thinking about when I'm eating it. Essentially you are giving them the gift of not having to cook or meal plan for an entire week. To try out Cook Unity for yourself or to gift it to somebody, check out cookunity.com forward slash buttfirstcoffee or click the link in my description box down below and you can use my code buttfirstcoffee50 to get 50% off your first order. All right, so once you've sort of shifted your thought process, the next step is to get moving. I always say that a body in motion stays in motion and a body at rest stays at rest. If you are sitting down and you are relaxing, it's got, going to be a lot harder to force yourself up to get going to start a task. So this means, for example, like I said earlier, maybe I just put my kids down for nap and I want to have some like relaxing time and I deserve it and I'm gonna have some relaxing time, but I'm not going to relax first and then do tasks later. I just put the kids down, I've come downstairs, I'm already on my feet, I'm already in movement. So I'm going to use that momentum to complete the cleaning tasks I need to do first and then I will sit down and relax. Because if I sit down and relax first, it's going to be about a thousand times harder to force force myself back up. A body in motion is easier to keep in motion. A body at rest is much harder to get into motion. I think that we all know this is true. Have you ever told yourself you're going to sit down for just 10 minutes and then it's like near impossible to get yourself up once you've done that, right? So use any momentum you have. I used to do this before I had kids. When I get, would get home from work, the first thing I wanted to do was obviously just like sit down and veg on the sofa for a half an hour, but I would force myself to get tasks done immediately. Lots of times the first thing I did when I got home was take my dogs for a walk. I kept my body moving and that was a really positive movement. And then when I came home, my body was in motion and I had a lot more energy to tackle other tasks that I needed to do. Another trick that I really love, especially if you find yourself are already sitting down and you're like, oh, how am I gonna like will myself into motion is start with just the first step, stand up, right? And then I usually will put on some music um, and you're sort of like, get your body moving a little bit, you lead a little task where you're like listening to some music and you're dancing around. And now you've sort of got your body into motion. It's gonna be a lot easier, continue to push that momentum. So you really just gotta like complete that first step of like get up and then you'll find it's much easier to keep that motion and that momentum going. My final tip goes off of number one, but it's kind of like once you started cleaning, it's to change your narrative about why you're cleaning. And I heard Cass from Clutter Clutterbug talk about this one, but she essentially said, to say to yourself that I deserve a clean home. And I love this because I think it changes the narrative of cleaning your house from a chore to something that's essentially self-care. I've heard people use the um, like the mindset shift of people saying, I get to, to get themselves to do tasks. So um, for example, they might say, you know, I get to do the dishes because I'm lucky enough to have a family to feed and they ate food and now we have dirty dishes. And I think that that's a really beautiful mindset. I think, you know, being grateful and you know, gratitude practice um, can be extremely beneficial. And I've talked about that before, but I don't find it super motivating. When you're looking for like that spark, that motivation to get you going, I don't always find it super motivating, especially if the tasks seem super daunting or really, really large. And so that's why I love the I deserve to mindset, right? I deserve to have a clean kitchen to cook my dinner in tonight. I deserve to have clean clothes in my drawer when I go to get ready tomorrow. I always talk a lot about doing something tomorrow you will thank you for, like putting your clothing out the night before so it's easier to get dressed in the morning or cleaning the kitchen sink at night so you walk down to a clean sink in the morning, prepping food ahead of time so you don't have to do it during the dinner time rush, making your bed in the morning so when you come home you're greeted with a clean bed. These are acts of self-love. You do these things because you believe the future you deserves it. You remind yourself that you're doing this as an act of service to yourself. And personally, my love language is acts of service. So it's like the, the best um, act of self-love for myself is to do something 
for future me. Okay, so let's review really quick. Number one is to change your thoughts. You're never gonna feel like it, so you might as well do it now. Number two is to get yourself moving. A body in motion tends to stay in motion. A body at rest will stay in rest. Change the narrative. You deserve to have a clean home. Change the narrative about what you are doing to switch it from a chore to an act of self-care. All right, my friends, that does it for some tips that I use to get myself moving, particularly to clean, but I use it for other things. Um, when I'm feeling just super unmotivated, when I face something and I default to that nope, I don't wanna do it. These are the three tips that I use that really, really work well for me to get Get me moving. I'm always glad that I did. I never regret that I take a little bit of extra time to get a task done. So I hope that this video helped you out. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others, and I will see you all in my next video.